40 calls. It's time for book reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to Fort Master's Vlog with the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And uh, this is my ninth book, book review in this series, but uh, before getting on the business I have some uh, acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledgement to make. Uh, to some people and the first one on the list uh, should be Erika who I promised I should be give a shout out uh, a shout out for so hi Erika uh, she is the one who as I mentioned several times is the help, helpful person who um, helped uh, make uh, she helped me get the intro fixed and looking much much nicer than before I, I was finished uh, and the second person I would uh, acknowledge, uh, acknowledge. Uh, he didn't say it in, uh, outspoken himself, but uh, I was going to do it anyway. Uh, and that is Sergeant Dipshit, who you can see below here. Uh, he is a guy who makes Swedish wa game walkthroughs. Uh, if you're an, uh, uh, someone from who doesn't understand Swedish, little videos might not apply to you very much. But I recommend you at least to go and check out this uh, channel. And then we have a person who I want to call Do You Want to Fish? Uh, who I want to get on with her freaking skavens and paint them so I can see them for free. Come on, do you fish? Uh, and the last person on my list I want to acknowledge is Cecilia. Uh, a very nice girl who shares my passion for Star Wars and video games. You're an awesome girl, don't forget that. And I'm sorry that my hair length isn't good enough for you. But anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. So, in this video I'm gonna review Brotherhood of the Storm, a limited edition uh, novella written by Chris Wraith and uh, released by Black Library. Uh, what were my initial thoughts uh, uh, when I when I uh, heard uh, heard they announced would annu when they announced the release of this book? Uh, first off, I'm not uh, the biggest fan when it comes to limited edition books. Uh, sure, it's co it's cool that I'm one of just five five thousand who own this, but uh, it's not that very special, uh, and and also. We have the price. Uh, this cost uh, 30 pound, I think, 30 pound, or at least 300 Swedish crowns, which is a lot of money for a simple 100 uh, pages book. It's very much, uh, especially for me who is a student. And, and but uh, I should also point out that this is only the second limited edition book I bought. I also own the silver edition of Aurelion, who is written by Aaron Jenske Bowden. Uh, but th that book was purely me. I, I, I've only heard that, that book being accepted by others uh, as it's uh, due to the author who, uh, who wrote it, uh, as Aaron Jenske Bowden who is a name that's growing very very much in these uh, in this in these circles, if you say so. Uh, if you take novellas, uh, uh, Nick, the, which Nick uh, uh, Nick Kine has produced, uh, I have yet to find some positive responses or, uh, about them. Uh, so far, he's written one limited edition, uh, which is called Promethean Sun. And he's also written a um, novella in the uh, no, novella anthology called the Primarchs. And I only read the one in the Primarchs, and I was not very uh, uh, it didn't appeal to me. I was, I was not uh, what's the word? <laughs> Forgetting the word here. Uh, I was not overthrown or very excited about it. This was very boring, very dull, very, very boring characters for that part. Uh, but that's not the story. Uh, moving on, moving on. I'm, get, I'm getting back to that in another video. Uh, yeah. 
So, uh, my, and my second thought when I saw that they announced this book was that it would be about the White Scars uh, Legion. A Legion, uh, which I per uh, personally is not that very concerned, deeply concerned about. Uh, I'm not that very interested in them. Uh, I do know there's very little written about them, so that's a shame, especially since they are one of the first founding legions, uh, which I think there should be more info about them. Uh, 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 the only thing I've read about the White Scars prior to this book is a Space Marine battle no novel called... Uh, uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, the Hunt for Valdarius, but I will return to that in a small bit. Uh, so, about the author. Uh, the author who wrote this book is Chris Wraith, uh, and so far I've only read two things uh, from him, the, which the first one is his Battle for the Fang, which I, I, I really love that story. It, it's a conclusion to the duology a Thousand Suns and Prosper Burns. Uh, it's kind of like a conclusion to the that those two stories, where it comes to a showdown between the the final remains of the <coughs> of the the final remains of the Thousand Suns and the now Space Wolves chapter. <coughs> and also, I've also read his short story in the anthology called Age of Darkness, which is called which is called Rebirth, uh, which also funnily is about uh, some Thousand Suns survivors after uh, Prospero, the battle for Prospero. Uh, I loved both those parts, so th that is one of the things that made me interesting in actually getting this book. Uh, Chris Wraith has impressed me in only those the two parts, so I think, well, this is Horus Heresy. It might be a limited edition, but it's an offer which I think has potential. Uh, and it's about a legion which I have not read so much about. Uh, so, yeah, I, 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 I simply couldn't resist buying this book. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so uh, let's go get into the story here. Uh, the story it takes place so shortly after the Ulanor campaign, where Horus uh, was announced as the War Master, the new War Master, and Emperor returned back to Earth to work on his uh, webway project. Uh, if you want to know more about that, you can always check out Lexicanum, very good site for that uh, sort of things. And, and the White Scars, they are currently operating in the Condax, Condax or Shondax, not sure about the pronunciation. Condax system, where they are rounding up the last remaining orcs uh, in that system. And for everyone who is already familiar with the fluff or lore, you know this system is where the shit will hit the fan, pardon my friend, French. Uh, overall, there are seven characters in this book, a very small amount of characters to say so. Even Aurelian had uh, quite a few characters, even though they didn't have so much screen time. Uh, and you will see most of the characters, uh, at least five out of those seven, through a first person perspective. Yeah, and yes, sir. that's right. Every chapter, every chapter you will see uh, through the eyes of a, a new person or a new character. Uh, me myself usually is a bit uh, negative or uh, very. I have low expectations when I find out that the story has uh, that the story is written in first person. Usually, as they have a very high risk of becoming repetitive. Uh, there are some uh, there are some exceptions, of course, like Eisenhorn, which I completely love, or uh, um, uh, Ravnor, which is mixed between third and first person, and also the story called uh, Hell Hellreach. I think it's called that. Uh, the Space Marine Battle, written by Anders Bowden. Uh, I will change the name if that's said wrong. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so yeah, why am I 
uh, so negative about first person, first person stories? Well, mostly because they have a tendency to become repetitive. Uh, this book almost managed to escape that, except for the last chapter, which I felt was slightly too repetitive. It, uh, reusing, it was written too many I saw, I felt, I wondered, or something like that. It was too much of that, and not so much about the, the, the environment. I was missing that part. But this story, I think it couldn't be that good if it was written in third person, because it is very character. It's uh, it's very character driven. It's uh, not so much about the story, but more about the characters which are in in the story. Uh, see, a, a very high plus point about this book uh, is that we finally get to see how this legion works and operates and we also get some characteristics, uh, we get to see some very nice characteristics about this book which they also share with other uh, legions. Uh, the first thing uh, is that they seem to Outwards, and I want to really point out the word outwards. They seem to be very much like the space wolves. However, uh, one character in this book makes a funny remark about that that they, that they they that they don't really, really don't like being compared to the space wolves. Uh, from the book Prosper Burns, uh, I would think that we uh, get to see that the uh, Space Wolves are a, br a brutal legion, but they are extremely loyal to their masters, or their master, em the Emperor. The White Scars, however, they are uncontrolled. Uh, they want to be free and roam as they, f uh, as they please. But they, are, they have high manners and offending someone, especially if there is uh, an ally, uh, it's the highest insult they think one can do. So they, um, uh, honor is very important to them. Yeah. Uh, as they are uncontrolled, uh, it's not looked upon with uh, a huge smile at the Department of Munitorium, uh, who has no idea about the group emplacements uh, as the uh, they, they have no idea where the white scars are operating as they use no company insignias. Instead of you saying this is first or second or third company, they have brotherhoods and as, as the title suggests, the, the main character is a part of the brotherhood of the storm. And, and that's very confusing as the munitorium prefers numbers. Uh, the Legion also itself has no idea where their battle brothers are currently doing their battles or they don't, they don't even know where their Primarch is located. They, they often say that, I hope I can get, I get to see the Primarch soon, as I have no idea where, he's, he's, uh, where he is, uh, where he's located and stuff like that. Uh, Yes, so a great, a very great point about this book, this book, is that they actually now finally get a culture of their own, uh, instead of being a, a small uh, little brother to the space wolves. They actually got their own customs, traditions, stuff like that, uh, and they are very better portrayed in this novella than they were in the. Space Marines battle book called Hunt for Valdarius. Hunt for Valdarius, which I mentioned earlier. Um, this book has some very great, uh, great in and interesting characters, especially the Storms here, uh, which you uh, will get to read more about in the actual story. And also, there's a small point where we get to meet the Primarch finally at last, which we have been waiting for since the first Horus Heresy story was written. Uh, the negative bits about this book is perhaps that without doubt the price it, uh, which the book, uh, the book it, it costs too much, it costs too much, it's not worth the money which uh, you have to put out on this. Uh, 
despite that the author himself uh, signed this book, I, I don't. I'm very happy that he did, but it doesn't think. I don't feel feel that that uh, levels up to the actual price for the book. Um, uh, they often say that one of the things that's worth about these limited editions are the the art which you can find in this book, which I found out was two pages and they were not interesting and not appealing at all to me so I, d I would never not I would not say that the, the art or the images in the book are, are worth uh, worth the price not at all not even the, uh, the, the autograph or the sign from the author either um, the book is too short uh, it's, yeah, so that's the negative part. It's uh, too pricey, at least for its length, and the images are not interesting or uh, level up to make the book worth its price. Uh, but then you might ask, do I regret buying this? No, I do not regret buying it, as I want my collection of Horace Heresy to be full. Um, it was it wasn't a bad story. It was just overpriced, if I would say so. Chris Wright, uh, Chris Ray, Chris Wright uh, did a very good portrayal of the White Scars in this 100-page book. Uh, yeah. So, so what do I think about this book? Uh, before and before I go into that part, I should say. The front cover, uh, I saw a very funny picture where it's, they had changed the title over here and added instead stroke face while poo, uh, which I would think is a funny remark as it looks like uh, Jagatan Khan, the Primarch of the White Skulls, is sitting on the bathroom uh, or, 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 or on his golden to toilet and taking a, taking a dump while he's stroking his face. Yeah, so the cover um, is not that very impressive. It's not one of, of the best. Uh, this cover will get a 5 out of 10. It has, it, it, it's not bad, but it's far from best or good. Uh, and also, as I said about the story, it's very good. It's very, very, very uh, it's well written. It has interesting characters. It's a bit too short and way overpriced. Uh, so this novella will get a solid uh, 6 out of 10. It would have get, gotten higher if it was a bit longer. Perhaps not in first perspective, first person perspective and if the price was lower. Otherwise I do not regret buying it and I will recommend it for you to read it at least. It's a very good story and uh, very good work there, Chris Bright. Very good indeed. Yeah, uh, I, I apologize for this very uh, um, for, for this very not so good uh, review. I, I've lost <laughs> many words during uh, I've gotten lost during my, this uh, recording and mostly because my uh, uh, now, now I'm doing it again. Most because uh, I, of my non-native language, I have a tendency to lo uh, lose or forgetting words in English, which make me, um, yeah, lose my track. And I often uh, stops and I'm like, hmm, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, but I, but I apologize for that. Uh, I hope this review was at least somewhat uh, helpful and insightful and I, I hope you will continue to look at my other videos. Don't forget to rate and sub su <laughs> don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos. Uh, leave uh, give a thumbs up and leave a comment both positive and uh, negative with a critique of what you think I done good so I will continue doing it and the things I've done bad so I will stop doing it and improve myself and once again I apologize for my uh, not so good English. Uh, that's for all, all everyone, thank you very much for watching.
for the Khan and for the Emperor. 